All right, what is going on my dudes? The day is finally here, dudes. Look at this guy. Right up to rank five, man. Now it is no secret at all how big of a fan I am of Mojo. He's one of my favorite champions in the entire game, one of my favorite champions to play, and I can't wait to show you guys some Act 6 gameplay. I'm gonna be taking him on a bunch of the tougher lanes in 6.3 and 6.4, and after recording this intro, I might take him on some of the couple harder lanes in 6.2 as well, just to show you how versatile this guy could actually be. When you get this guy up to SIG level 200, dude, his damage goes through the roof man like at rank 5 uh, sig 200 right as a five star i think he has like a plus 4200 fury that he gets for all of his basic hits okay for all of his degen like he starts hitting like an absolute madman dude so i uh i absolutely fell in love with mojo when i had him in the ccp Okay, I took him up against the champion boss, and I sold the champion with uh, the rank 3 mojo, and I discovered the synergy team with him for the uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant and the Ghost Rider synergy, and I kind of tokened that the uh, buff bounty hunter synergy, alright? Uh, the buff bounty hunter's trinity, and I really fell in love with him there, man. And uh, he came around to the arena, and I grinded for him round 1, and I placed 152, and I missed, and I was very upset. Um, but then I rallied, and I went for him round 2, and I placed like in the high 30s, he went much lower round two unfortunately uh, i wish i could have switched the scores i would have had him duped back then but i finally got this guy from the season 17 alliance war rewards okay i opened a featured crystal and i got him and that night actually that night uh after i recorded the crystal opening video well i did this okay i uh, i went into the game i took him right up to rank five and i popped all these six stones that i've been saving for him right into this guy all right now is he like the most important champion i have no, but he is so fun to play, dude. He's such a fun champion to play, and he's so underrated as an attacker. He's also an absolute banger on defense, as we've seen, right, this past Alliance War season. He's a great defender, especially with flow, all right? So, this guy is now my fifth maxed out Mystic five star, okay? And as I've said a couple times in the past, I want to have at least five champions per each class maxed out as five stars. So, I'm probably good on the Mystics now for a bit, okay? Uh, I'd consider taking Long Shot up if I got him. I've thought about uh, Ghost Rider and Dr. Voodoo as well and Sim Supreme, but I think I'm good for now. I have, uh, I'm pretty happy with my five stars with the Mystic roster now. You know, a while back, Dr. Doom was my only maxed out Mystic five star, uh, joined by Black Widow Clairvoyant, all right? And I, I brought up Magic for 6.4, I brought up Jane Foster because I'm a big fan of her, and now I got Mojo up as well, all right? So I'm feeling really good about the, uh, the five star roster as a whole. This is all those guys and ladies right there, okay? Um, yeah, dudes, let's jump into some gameplay, shall we? All right, my dudes, so I got a lot of clips to show you today from a lot of the tougher lanes in Act 6, all right? So up first, you know I gotta show off his degen on Special Connoisseur, man. So on this lane, as you know by now, all right, all damage is going to be 90% less unless you have an active or passive prowess buff and you're doing a special attack. But all passive damage, right? That still does damage. So all of the damage that we do in this fight is going to be completely, right? Well, 90%, but pretty much completely the passive degen damage that Mojo is capable of, all right? Now, keep in mind here, okay? I did bring along my buff Bounty Hunters Trinity where I pretty much bring every time I play Mojo. They're absolutely not needed at all, especially in the fights that I'm showing you today. Like, I definitely don't need them, but I just enjoy bringing them along, and they do make him a little bit more satisfying to play here, okay? Um, now, I did speed up the beginning of this fight. I just made it about two times faster, just because in the beginning, you definitely don't have to play it slow and wrap Mojo up, but that's just personally how I usually do it. I just play the beginning kind of slow until he's already ramped up, and then he gets that Fury buff once Mojo is ramped up, well, his special 2 and his special 3, they're going to do pretty much the exact same thing, alright? They're both going to end with the same amount of insane 
five stacks of degen damage on the opponent. So, if you want to play Modril with suicides, okay, you're going to want to cycle his special three, which is really, really easy to do because this guy gains a lot of power when he completes his prompts and when he nullifies buffs off of the opponent if you're running any form of Mystic Dispersion, okay? So, as you can see, this special three, this will pretty much do the exact same amount of degen damage as my previous special twos, okay? They're both going to absolutely absolutely drain the opponent, except the special three is more suicide friendly. But for quality of life purposes, to make this video not 200 million hours long, I'm just going to be doing the special two for you guys here, alright? You could thank me later. But I just want you guys to know that if you do play him cycling the special threes, he is a lot more sustainable while running the suicide masteries than he appears here. Especially when combined with all of the regen whenever a buff is nullified on the opponent. Alright, up next we have one of the tougher lanes in all of 6.3. This is the can't stop, won't stop path, alright? Now when you bring Hulk Ragnarok or Korgolong, okay, you are going to get an unstoppable buff every time you complete a prompt. So, let's see how Mojo does on can't stop, won't stop. Right here, I'm about to complete my fifth prompt, and boom, let's toss off that big special two, and let's see what that big boy fury does to the sentinel with all of that degen. Look at how his health bar is just absolutely draining, dude. This is a path that is so hard for so many people. I've seen people do this and get Aegon up to a 750 combo to get the unstoppable, and Mojo's coming in here and just absolutely destroying this sentinel, and all you need to do this is Mojo and either Hulk Ragnarok and Korg, all right? You definitely don't need Ghost Rider or Black Widow Clairvoyant here, but like I said, it's just so satisfying to just watch those buffs instantly disappear, okay? So when you have above five followers here, okay, and your anti-life field is active, when you're hitting into them with your basic attacks, you have a 15% chance to inflict them with a hater debuff, okay? And if your anti-life field is active, well, there's going to be a 90% reduced timer on that debuff, okay? And when it goes away, right, when it expires, well, they're going to degenerate, okay? So that's where pretty much all of Mojo's damage is coming from, man. Now keep in mind, uh, this is a Sentinel, so you know he's at a hundred analysis there, and there's also that um, that dulled debuff on us or whatever it's called. So we're not going to be critting much. But if those special twos crit, dude, they crit pretty hard, man. So up next, we're actually going to go up against this Mephisto, man, and I wanted to see how Mojo would do against this Mephisto. Now I'm not going to speed up the beginning here because I, you know. Uh, when you fight Mephisto in the beginning, you know, you're not going to get any buffs, so you, until that um, that soul barb or whatever it's called, the soul prism goes away, well, I'm not going to get any of my unstoppable buffs at all, so I have to wait that out, and I have to play the beginning very, very slow. Um, against Mephisto, I'm playing this slow in general because I want to really watch out for that aura, okay? Uh, I don't want to take too much damage from his um, incinerate aura there. Here, I need to just get one more prompt, and I'll be good to go. I got a stunned champion, and boom, there we go, right up to a special two. Let's see how we do here. I got my fury. Oh my god one special two dude and he's already down to 60% health That's absolutely ridiculous man here. He's got that R versus narration up So I'm just kind of like waiting for that to go away there. I got my prompt up. I have my unstoppable buffed I still have my fury buff of course boom 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 beat out that special one hint him a little bit I'm trying to get some of those hater debuffs, but I'm also just really being weary of his aura I don't want him to activate it too much there. I got two hater buffs Look at that man off with another special two. He is already down 30% He's already go dipping into his souls there. He's regenerating I reckon one more special two and this guy will be down the drain He does have his aura up there. So I'm being very careful here My anti-life field is about to uh, run out, but luckily I got dodge a hit So I just dodged a hit and it is right back I have my unstoppable and my fury and this special two should put him absolutely down the drain man Look at him. Just take away down to 2%, one heavy attack, and that is it. Dude, Mojo absolutely slayed that, man. Like, if for people who don't have Thing, this path is such, like, a hard path for them, man. Now, there is a boost that gives uh, Mystic Champions, actually, an Unstoppable based on how many buffs they have, but I don't know, I don't love that boost too much. 
Um, I didn't have a good time with that boost. I'd rather do it with Doom, but I don't know. Um, up next, we're doing Footloose, okay? Footloose and Spry and the best defense. This is in 6.4.2. Okay, so what Footloose does is uh, whenever they activate a special attack, they are going to get an unstoppable and an evade buff, all right? So, as long, okay, as long as I have my anti-life filled up, I don't care about those buffs, man. Those buffs are going to go away immediately as long as I have my anti-life filled up. So, what I want to do is I want to pretty much time pushing them over a bar of power when I have my field up, okay? Like right here, I also nullified her special one, but my life field is paused when um, I throw a special attack. So here, my life field just ran out, but luckily I got dash, ba um, dash backwards, so it came right away. As you can see, the little unstoppable thing came up by uh, her side of the screen, but it doesn't even matter, man, because I brought along my buff bounty hunter trinity of Ghost Rider and Black Widow Clairvoyant, so it's gonna be minus 120% buff duration on any single buff that procs on any defender that I fight. As you can see, the unstoppable, the evade, dude, they don't pop up one time, man. This Medusa was absolutely destroyed, okay? And just a reminder, man, in a normal situation, if you want to use Mojo with suicides, I do recommend you go for the special three, okay? Because you won't take any recoil damage and you will do that same amount of degen damage, all right? But like I said, just because I want to speed this video along here, I don't want it to be 25 minutes long, all right? I'm just going for the special two, just for the same exact effect, okay? Here, I'm just speeding up the beginning of this fight, just ramping up to uh, five followers here. Here, I have four, and I'm just about to get my fifth one here against this Stark Spider-Man. Boom, toss off a special two while he's stunned. Oh man, look at all that degen on that really small health pool. That is just so satisfying to see, man. Bait out that special one. He tries to go unstoppable, but my anti-life field was active. Dude, he has no chance, man. He has absolutely no chance at all. Hit him with the heavy attack there. He's already down to 45% health. Here, I'm back up to a special two. Boom! Look at that, man. Down to 25% health, down to 17% health, and he is just ticking away, man. Dude, that fight was like 30 seconds once he was ramped up, man. That was just like, it's just insane, man. When you have temporary buffs to take advantage of, he's just ridiculous. All right, here for some fun, we're going to go ahead and take a look at Mojo on Icarus, man. We're back in 6.2, 6.2.3, the Omega Red chapter, and we're just going to have some fun going crazy with Icarus here, okay? and we're gonna see how hard we can make our special two hit once we get ramped up. It's a little weird on Captain Marvel because I did bring along MODOK, um, which gives me the incinerate on the heavy there. So she's gonna like enter binary and stuff because of her whole uh, mystic thing. But here we're already up to four. Okay, we have four followers, resisted that heavy there. We're also unstoppable, so no big deal at all. Boom, here it's gonna hit into her, build up those Icarus charges, see how hard our special two could hit, dude. Oh my god, man. He is so good for Icarus, man. Because that special 2 is insane. And the degen starts ticking right away. And the degen is going to scale with all of the furies that you have from Icarus, man. Here we're going to go up against this Ronin. We're going to start a little more ramped up. When your mojo is awakened every single time, okay, every time you go on to another fight, as long as you finish with more followers than you have subscribers, okay, and you could go into mojo's abilities if you want to see more about that, or I have videos going over mojo's abilities from a few months ago if you want, but you're going to have a shorter and shorter ramp up as you go along. So here, my last prompt is end a buff. Boom. Let's end that buff. Let's build right up to a special two here and let's see how hard we can make this hit oh my god look at all of that passive degen man i think that was passively 13,000 that was a 13,000 tick oh, that was about to start happening if we didn't die so here we're gonna do one more fight one more fight with this mojo against icarus man just because icarus is so much fun um going up against this medusa here and now I'm going to start off with three subscribers, so I have three followers to the start, so I only have to complete two prompts. I have dodge a hit in the beginning, and now I just have to wait this out and go for one more here. All right, so that's going to be no problem at all. Here I have block a hit. Easy peasy, man. Look at that. Hit her with the heavy attack. Parry. Go enter her here. Build up those furies. 13,000, 25,000, 27,000, and end with a 17,000 non-crit, and let that degen just absolutely destroy her. Oh 
my god my dudes how crazy was that so my dudes i gotta tell you i had a lot of fun making this video i've wanted to get my hands on a rank 5 sig 200 mojo for a very very long time and i gotta tell you he has not disappointed me yet dude when you have timed buffs to take advantage of he is hands down one of the best options for those fights you don't even need to worry about those fights at all all oh, man you don't have to worry about the buffs don't you just you just ignore them when you're playing mojo if you can combine mojo black widow clairvoyant and ghost rider the buff bounty hunter trinity on your team dude buffs they're non-existent they don't exist dude it's just absolutely insane man so my dudes if you enjoyed this video please do me a favor and leave a like comment what you think about this rank 5 seek 200 mojo in the comment section below and subscribe if you want to see some more mojo content coming to you very soon i'll be seeing you around